guys, welcome back to another video. Today is a complete different type of video. I'm going to start a new series on my channel called Top 5. Don't know what I mean by this, is it's pretty self-explanatory. I'm going to go for Top 5 things based on scooters, obviously, because my, my channel is based around scooters. So, as you can tell by the title, I'm going to be doing Top 5 Worst Pro Scooter. Well, it's not really a pro scooter, Top 5 Scooter. So, depending on how many likes this video gets, I will do another episode based on the Top 5 Best Pro Scooters. So... 5 to 1, 1 being the best, 5 being the worst. Like I said, this video, if this video smashes 10 likes, I will do the next episode. I'll put a poll on screen now, that way, that way I still can't get my head around which side it's on. But I will put, do you like the new idea of this series? So yeah, let's get right into it. Coming in at number 5, we have the Razor Rip. If you guys have ever heard of a ripstick, it is the exact copy of that but with handlebars. So a ripstick is um, a skateboard with two wheels that rotate in 360 degrees, so you spin... You jiggle your ass and like that, and it gives you momentum and pushes you forward. It's pretty gay, but we all had one as a kid, I think. Well, I definitely did. It's um, made by Razor. Matt Razor were the first people to make the rift stick. So, what this essentially is, it's just a normal scooter, normal front wheel, normal bars, but it was a rift stick on the back. So the back wheels rotate 360 degrees. So you just literally um, push your back foot backwards and forwards and it obviously pushes you forward you don't need to push. I don't understand why you'd buy something like this you just either buy a ripstick or a normal scooter it's like your parents are wanting your kids to get bullied so it's I kind of I don't really get my head around it. Coming in at number four we have the Revolution Y Flicker Carver yes that's it that's its actual name I don't know why a company would call a scooter that but it's basically saying why exists a carver more like no okay I'll go in I'm leaving the room it has a built-in handbrake, the bars look like BMX bars, so yeah, if you press that front brake, you are definitely going over the handlebars, if you guys have ever pressed a uh, front brake on a mountain bike really hard, it sends you straight over and landing face first on the concrete, and you're going to get a face full of mud, gravel, and you basically get knocked your teeth on teeth out. <laughs> so, yeah, it's got two little bits at the back to put your feet on, pretty irrelevant. They've tried to copy something else from by Razor as well, I think Razor made, um... Something the same, same as this, but a decent version. Like I don't know why you'd put BMX bars on it. Just put T bars, normal bars, like normal. I get the front brake bit because you can't really stop. I don't know. Leave me alone, okay? Just shut up. Coming in at number three is the Eco Rider. This is an electric scooter. Basically, this is the Don. If this, if you have this scooter, you'll get all the twelve-year-olds, all the twelve-year-old girls will be flocking towards you. Asking to go out on a date with you. I don't know if 12 yards go on a date. Yeah, you get what I mean. It's 100% carbon fiber, built in speedometer. What? Got a speedometer, it's like a car. But no, it's completely battery powered, it's eco friendly. I think that's what it's called, the eco rider. You know, making the links. Pretty pointless, really. If you're gonna buy an electric scooter, just buy a Swagway. I know they're really out of date and so 2015. Don't be lazy. That's all it is, just don't be lazy. A normal scooter, you push. Gives you exercise. Jesus Christ. Coming in at number two is the Bold Wheel Scooter. It's got kick-ass wheels. The wheels are the size of my fucking head. It's got sick-ass Apex bars. They are top quality. They fold up. It's foldable again. Why would you make a scooter like this? I don't understand. But the reason why I keep looking down is I've got like a little script type thing and I'm looking at the photos on my phone so I don't know what I'm going on. It's got a fucking kickstand. Why don't all scooters have this? Like, you get a scooter and you've got nowhere to put it, you just launch it on the ground and damage the bars. Whereas this thing, the kick-ass scooter, the bold wheel scooter, has a kickstand. Revolutionary. Scooter companies, take note. Why make this shit? Just buy a normal scooter. 110mm wheels. That's not going to break as soon as you put your feet on it. It's made of all plastic. And just take a look at the brake. It's like a fucking mountain bike mud flap. I'll put a picture of a mountain bike mud flap now and it's like an exact replica. The wheel's like 150 millimetres. Yeah, I don't... Coming in at number one, we have the Glober. That's right, the Glober. It is made entirely of plastic. It's, have you ever seen the suit as you get from Argos? It's got two wheels on the front and then a dual double wheel at the back. It's got a big ass fucking brake. It's made of plastic. Um, all kids age, un, all kids under the age of six had one of these atrocities. I didn't personally have one. I had a normal scooter because I was a normal human being. But yeah, got three wheels. Well, this this particular model has got three wheels. A tiny little 
fucking 75 millimeter wheel on the back and then two big 150 millimeter wheel on the front i'm not too sure about what the actual dimensions are but i'm just taking a guess the bars don't turn it's kind of like a lean motion like a it's kind of like a skateboard but um yeah straight t bars my overall opinion on this thing is just burn it and just throw it in the bin just there's been also actually that's quite long. the only thing i can say to these whole scooters is just bloody hell just please buy a normal scooter a scooter that will last you at the end of the day you pay for what you get so yeah that's going to wrap up the first episode of the top five series if you did, guys did like it leave a thumbs up smash 10 likes and i'll make the second episode yeah click the poll on screen if you do like it yes or no i'll put some other videos in the polls as well so yeah like i said new to the channel feel free to subscribe down in the red button press the red button press the bell icon next to my channel name to get notified every time i upload today's post notification shout outs go to these people um yeah don't forget you get i'll get i'm gonna do start doing post notification shout outs so down in the comment section below post notification squad or i don't know hashtag just do hashtag hogwarts so yeah Thank you guys for watching this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.